to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming, where we are the voice inside your head. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One, and we're playing The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Oh my god, his tears are so big. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Excuse me, sir? Big tears, dude. I want the fan on my back. What does that do? Makes you move faster. Makes me move faster. And then I think there's a cannon over here. I definitely don't want this fan on my front. All right. Uh, X. Cannon. Uh, we can put that on the left hand. Or the right. Uh, yeah. I, I will put something on the right. But I, I'm you already... You did put it on the right. I, I did that on purpose. Oh, I mean, I did. I Honestly, I really did put it on that hand. I said left, but I meant right. Because I, I'm going to. You can go dual cannon, boy. I am going to go dual cannon, boys. Uh, L. Boom. All right. Now we can jump off of you and never get back on you ever again. Makes you. That, like, oddly enough, seeing that with double cannons makes me think of Edward Forty Hands. Who is that? Is that is that somebody I know? Do I know him? <laughs> the, <laughs> Do I know the this drinking guy? game Edward Forty Hands? I'm sorry, explain. It's, it's where you take uh, a 40 ounce of beer uh -huh. and you tape it to your hand and you can't take it off till you're done. Oh, okay. like you have to like you have to finish before you can remove. That sounds like a, that sounds like a great time. It's a t it, it was, uh, <laughs> sounds like a, I love not having use of my hands. What if you have to piss? You have to drink. The point well, is to drink. Yeah, but like it's a forty ounce of liquid. What if I have to piss? Well, like, good in, luck in there. You gotta have a good friend who's not playing the game. I don't know. I've been wondering how many hearts I need when I uh, before I hit like the very end of the like the heart containers and I get into the second row. I kind of want to beat the game without getting the second row of hearts. Okay. I kind of want to do that. I, I kind of want you to do it too. It's a nuzlocke, Jonas. Okay, it's a nuzlocke. <laughs> No sticky armor Nuzlocke. What's, what's a Nuzlocke? Google. Oh, is what that a Poe? What's happening? Oh, it's a furry. Why is that guy in there? That's Why is that guy? That's Mineru, man. Mineru's a furry. Oh, it's your heart. Oh, it's Mineru. Mineru is not my heart. She's a robot. Or at least she was until she turned into a furry. Oh, that makes you like... Dude, I like those runes. Link's blind now. I am blind now. As I can Link. see that you're going blind. Zelda asked me to aid you, Link. Aww. I am the Sage of Spirit and one of the Zonai. Isn't she precious? I mean, there's certain fan bases that think that's a cool character design. You, Link. The 34 community? I must thank you. It is because of you <laughs> that we have recovered my secret stone. She's just floating. Originally, my intent was to awaken when you first found the Pora Pad, then to guide you to my construct and assist you on your journey. I had not anticipated a battle with that same construct. You have proven quite adept, and I am grateful for all your efforts. Link, here. No, I'm, I'm good, thanks. It's like, I'm a loner, okay? In the name of Minoru, Sage of Spirit, I grant my power unto you. I wonder what her ability is. The ability going to be the construct? I think that's it. Yeah. She seems to be the only one that didn't have like a flashback too, and she kind of reminds me of the same species that uh, Raru, that Ruru was. I think Ruru. Was. Oh, who that is? Oh Jesus Christ! Why do you have Christ. a purple arm? Ruru was the one that gave us the arm, dude. Raru, remember? The there's too many Rus, man. No, there's oh, Reju. The there's Reju and Ruru, who I or Raru. I like Ruru. to call him Ruru. Oh, you this can turn off the given. mech. A deep bond has been forged between us. Oh. And from this point Ugh. forward, my spirit will reside within that construct. I will help you however I can. Okay, oh. so I do get the construct. 
Bet. That's cool. Bet. I'm glad I don't have to have the furry wolf lady. At, you don't right. have a cannon in your inventory, do you? No, I have not found uh-huh. cannons yet. I am the one who lived in the distant past in the age of Hyrule's founding. Circumstances forced me to forsake my body and become a being of pure spirit. Long have I slumbered within Zelda, Zelda's Pura pad in order to share what I knew when it when I passed into your hands. I apologize that our meeting has been so long delayed. The Demon King's interference is to blame. Nevertheless, I ask your pardon. Well, then. Now, on the topic at hand. In my own age, the distant past from your perspective, Zelda awakened as the sage of time and appeared before us. What I must relate to you is a tragedy that occurred in Hyrule's history. At its crux was Zelda, who held the secret stone and traversed time. She made a momentous decision in those days gone by. I would have to know of the resolve she poured into the blade, into that blade, the Master Sword. Mm, the story, she's the one who created it? My people, known as the Zonai, came down from the heavens to the surface of the world. It was said they were descendants of gods. They bore treasures from these same gods, secret stones capable of amplifying the abilities of those who possessed them. Using the knowledge of the Zonai, my younger brother Rahu became a great leader. He met a young woman named Sonia, and they would wed. Rahu gifted Sonia one of the secret stones. Together, they sought to establish their kingdom. This is how the kingdom of Hyrule, with Rahu and Sonia as its first king and queen, came to be. The future looked bright. However, tragedy suddenly struck. A man of great evil emerged from the desert. The leader of the Gerudo, Ganondorf, killed Queen Sonia and stole her secret stone. Using the secret stone, Ganondorf transformed into the Demon King. He then created swarms of monsters and attacked. Hyrule rose up to face these threats, but the evil power driving the monsters forward was staggering. The defenders were on the brink of defeat. Raru then came up with a plan to turn the tide of the war. He entrusted secret stones to warriors with exceptional abilities. They became sages and united in an effort to finally defeat the Demon King. How many secret stones you got? Maru and the sages outnumbered the Demon King and should have been able to stop him. However... Oh, he the did. Demon King's power had grown far beyond anything we could have imagined. I was unable to withstand his strength. Stupid hat. Our fight appeared all but lost. And then, I do like the Demon King's hair. himself to one final act.
Is it? So smug. I know exactly what it will cost me. <laughs> Thousands of years will pass in the blink of an eye. You will delay the inevitable. You're wrong. Years from now, someone will appear with the sword that seals the darkness. A swordsman with the power to defeat you. Link, remember this name. Does that mean a lot to you? I've never been more motivated to destroy for you, Ruru. For you. I will defeat him. <laughs> for you, Ruru, he says. That's the little stadia thing. So he became a he became a shrine. So the shrines have something to do with something being sealed there. Uh -huh. That's interesting. You know this tragedy as the imprisoning war. Oh, yeah. Though it took all we were able to give, we succeeded in imprisoning the Demon King. But I was wounded in the process. My body was soon to expire. That is when Zelda came to me here, uh, bearing a decayed and broken sword. Yes, you will recall how the Master Sword vanished from your hand at the Temple of Time. From there, it traveled into distant past, appearing in Zelda's hands. And now, you hold it once again. Ah, it makes sense. It did disappear from our hands. that sword traveled through time the same way you did? Yes, but more importantly, in my original time, the Demon King was vulnerable to even the smallest piece of this sword. Even someone like him has vulnerabilities. Hmm. Then what exactly are you suggesting we do with the sword? Over time, the Master Sword is able to absorb sacred power. It can heal itself and even grow stronger. Curious. If we were able to empower it in that way, it could be the key to defeating the Demon King. But it could take centuries for that sword to grow strong enough. The power the Demon King wields. I do not see how this can be done. It would be impossible for you to provide it with sacred power for so long. I can think of one way. You mean... Yes, I can do it. I have to. I've told you, that act is forbidden for a very good reason. It would mean throwing yourself away. <laughs> oh, Maru. Yep. You won't be able to change back. The moment I had the sword, I knew what to do. I knew this was why I came to this era. I... I want to restore the Master Sword and deliver it to Link. Aww. What? That's so kind of her. You really... Have made up your mind. Very well then. As a Zonai, I bear my share of blame for these events. So I too will devote myself to this goal and to this hero of yours. Wow. The for the ultimate. swordsman link, I will do everything I can. 
Even if my body should perish, I will still be with you in spirit. She got Hasoka tears. A little tearjerker, huh? Bro, so she she sacrificed herself to to heal the sword. I wonder if she becomes the sword. That's what I, the kind of I'm, it's giving, at least. Afterwards, Zelda and I discussed strategy. We laid the groundwork for guiding you in a distant in the distant future. Before the gloom's affliction took my life, I became a spirit and entered the Purapad. Oh, the Zelda, then Zelda did what she felt she. Uh, must and began the forbidden process. She believed your, she believed you would use the master sword to defeat the demon king and restore peace to Hyrule. And that's what we plan to do. You already have in hand the hope that Zelda left to you, the sword that seals the darkness, the master sword. Well then. Go now, Link. With the sword of hope that Zelda left to you, you surely can smite the Demon King Ganondorf. I wonder if you, we didn't have it yet. If it would, if the dialogue would have been different and told us like I to go find, you must go find the, the the Master Sword. I imagine the vow of Sage Minoru, proof the vow of Minoru, Sage of Spirit uh, used to summon the construct containing Minoru Spirit. Hell yeah, and the guidance from ages past quest completed. Trial of the Master Sword. Trail. Trest, trail of the Master Sword begun. Oh Nope, we already did that. Uh, okay, so if we hadn't got it, it would start. Okay. okay, this is the other way that you get the Master Sword quest. I saw this when I was trying to look it up originally. But we did it, Jonas. Congratulations. We did this episode's going a little long, but I can tell you right now. It's a good way to end the week. I can tell you right now is that I have never been more motivated than I am now knowing that this sword <laughs> houses Zelda spirit makes me want to take on any comers so anyone wants to come come at me all right <laughs> yeah you heard him first he'll he'll get you to come you want to come right now Jonas <laughs> you can come at me all day <laughs> that's all the time we have today's episode please make sure to like subscribe for Jonas. you don't want to come <laughs> for Jonas I think so TNT we out <laughs>